So let's take it. Let's do a, another lesson here. This is old Gorbag at Gorbag.com and Gorbag TV. And I'm just going to give you an idea here of how you can um, feel the difference. This is how you feel the difference between the air column in the alto and the air column in the soprano. When you're you're going to blow, cover all the holes, and you're going to blow into it, into the alto first. And you're going to overblow slightly. Until you feel where the right air column is to keep it in the low register. Now, as you remove fingers, it's easier. So I'm going to have you do that later. But uh, for, let's just do all fingers, covering all the holes, including the foot. Now put that down, pick up the soprano. You will have a soprano in your hands if you order these correctly. Order them through me. I will have a soprano and an alto in your hands within a week. You'll notice that the breath is not as strident. It's not. A, you have to kind of push it a little more to get it through the alto. Now let's remove all but two. You're gonna put you're gonna put your thumbs underneath, one holding a hole and the other one holding up the instrument. And you're gonna just cover two holes. You're gonna take the soprano first. Now overblow. Takes a lot to overblow when you're holding it in that position. Which must be, I don't know what it is, it's probably D, I would guess. I'm not sure if it's, no, it would be, it would be um, B, maybe, possibly B. That's harder. The same thing with two fingers up. Overblow. Underblow. There's a just right blowing, which is so what you need to do now in this particular exercise is hold all but two of the holes. The bottom two holes you will release. Keep your fingers up like you're holding a teacup in a Victorian uh, tea party. Hold down all the holes with the rest of your fingers kind of hard. Get a nice tone for five seconds or more. Same with the soprano and look how much easier this is. This is just a lot easier to blow this. And while it's uneven, you have a little work to do. You need to get it so that you can actually make an even sound so it doesn't warble. Later, we're going to work with registers. We're going to work with little bits of registers. So it'll be things like when you are holding these down, you're going to get this sound. In the higher register. And there's another register even higher than that which I'm not sure I can get. Like that. So there's three registers in all that you can get off of this thing. So you need to actually be able to determine which one it is that you're blowing for. 
and stay in that register. And we'll talk about how to move from register to register at a way, way distant lesson. That's way away from here. Let's just get blowing these things right. So um, I'm going to give you one more beginning lesson, and then we're going to have to wait until you get a recorder in your hands to do the remainder of the lessons. Okay? So that's coming up next. Join me on, join me on um, the next lesson, which is um, how to blow how to blow a a recorder without blowing the recorder.